Hello, I'm artist Bryn Gillette, and I had the honor and privilege to finish a commission for the Boyce family. And the work that I did here is based on the oak tree from Isaiah, the mighty oaks of righteousness planted by the rivers of living water. And it also doubles in uh, paralleling the prophetic image of the trees of life that are on both sides of the river in Revelation, coming from the river that flows from the throne room in Jerusalem. So as kind of the anti-type or the bookend from the Garden of Eden, which had two trees, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of evil, in the end of times, it's two trees of life beautifully. And so uh, as Mark and I, we're working together to kind of dream up this idea for uh, a space in his mountain house. We looked at uh, the actual mountain range uh, where I was able to visit and, and visit and hike with my family through the actual Linville Gorge that is featured just behind the tree in the background. Uh, and so that became a special feature. In fact, I'd done a small watercolor as our thank you for staying up uh, at Mark's property. And so I was thinking about the actual space, the physical space of being there. Um, the trees themselves, the, the main featured tree was the original idea, this tree at night under the Milky Way. And I found myself nerding out with Mark about the new photography for the James Webb Telescope. And one of the coolest parts of this story was as I painted in the Eagle Nebula, which kind of flows right up through the Milky Way, uh, and then some other nebula, one of them being the Orion Nebula, who a friend of mine, as they walked in and saw the studio, the Taylor family, uh, showed me a photograph that their son, an amateur um, recent high school graduate, had taken with his telescope. I used his photography, actually, as reference. Uh, and then one evening after finishing a painting studio session in here, I went into my home and opened up this month's uh, article from or this month's edition of National Geographic and it was all the photography featured from the James Webb Telescope including this amazing fold-out um, insert that's uh, a close-up on the the Eagle Nebula from the James Webb so it was just this beautiful kind of Holy Spirit confirmation of the the makers of the heavens and the earth like the the God of our universe um, the folder and designer of time and space. And I think that's that meta narrative, that, that massive storyline over, overplays all this, that we have a part to play in this grand story that sweeps throughout time and history right over our heads. And yet here we are planted in this time and space with our roots going down. Uh, I think of Ephesians where it says, may your you know, roots grow down into Christ's love that you would grow up um, in all ways uh, to be filled with, filled with him. Um, in Revelation, it talks about the leaves of the tree uh, of these oaks of righteousness, or rather the trees of life, that the leaves of the trees would be the healing of the nations. Um, and then Mark and his wife have been going through a journey of um, health and prayer and treatments. And so the one of the latest features to come into the, the painting. I was really, like the painting is my, my prayer visualized and distilled. And so as I really thought about how to pray for their family, the boy's family, um, a second tree came into the image. Uh, originally it was just gonna be this one oak of righteousness and then um, this idea that there really were two trees. And, uh, and so this, golden second tree is kind of featured in the distance on the other side of the river. Uh, another really cool uh, unfolding that took place in this collaboration was as I started painting the root system, Mark specifically asked for the root system to be going down from the tree. And as I started sending him renderings, uh, he shared with me that the, the roots actually don't go very deep into the earth. Instead, going just a few feet down, they go really, really wide. In fact, sometimes twice the distance of the canopy of those trees. 
And that interconnected root system, my wife had been reading a book about trees at the Boyce Mountain Home. Uh, the trees actually talk to one another through um, fungi systems and water systems and electrical. They actually like click, like if you have the right acoustics, you can hear them almost quote unquote talking to each other. Uh, in this amazing process, they share resources together. They'll share uh, nutrients when there are depletions in certain areas. And then their, their root system interweaves with one another to hold each other strong in the storms of life. Uh, beautiful metaphors in every direction. And so this idea that the root system is actually reaching across under this river of life uh, and bringing nutrients back and forth, but then also just uh, co-supporting one another was this beautiful kind of prayer and image for um, this couple and for just the Boyce family in general and even the Holy Spirit's way of weaving into our lives and through that system. So all of that um, and many more things, but those at least as an introduction, those were the kind of visual ingredients that held my heart as I painted this. And I look forward to hearing what dreams may come as, as uh, the Boyce family and others live with this image for the next seasons and decades of life, what stories might emerge, what things they find that Holy Spirit painted in there that I wasn't even aware of start coming out. So far be it from me to, to say this is what the painting means. That's what I started with. And I'm excited to see what it becomes as a member of their family and uh, in this time. So every blessing truly of the heavens and earth over their family and every family, capital F, uh, that is part of God's family, the children of God. In Jesus' name.